we, we would love to be able to, to go and get the pension. Perhaps one of you knows the Prime Minister. We can, you know, have a Chardonnay with him and convince him to change the rules, I don't know. Rules and regulations. They're there to stop us enjoying our lives, it appears. Don't you love them? Not. Will we still be alive when we are finally allowed to move abroad? We are one of the expats and we are forbidden from moving to the Philippines or Thailand because of our government's silly rules that appear to lack common sense or any human decency. Please watch all of this video to find out why we won't get the age pension if we move to the Philippines or Thailand. You'll be shocked by this bull. We feel somewhat like we are sitting here in our home waiting and waiting and waiting for what? To tick all the boxes for the right to receive the age pension. Hopefully, before we roll up into a ball of disappointment and die. Please enjoy this video. Hello beautiful people of the world, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Robert and my wife is Tony. She is out enjoying her morning with her girlfriends. Lucky girls. My wife and I would love to leave Australia permanently but our government, legislation, rules, whatever you want to call them, makes it impossible. Therefore we feel like hostages in our own country. Our story is as follows. We live in Australia obviously. We were both born in Australia. We have both lived in Australia for 65 years as of 2024. It will be 66 years for me towards the end of the year. We have never lived overseas. We have only left Australia once for one month in the Philippines. That was back in last year in 2023. We own our home, cars and everything else. Want to make a move to the Philippines permanently, therefore freeing up our home in a country with a housing crisis. Australia has found itself with so many people with nowhere to live, so sad, making them homeless. There are tent cities popping up everywhere. I recently did a trip north from Brisbane, went up to um, up Mariborough way up, about halfway up Queensland coast. And every rest area I passed or went into was filled with people. We found themselves with no other option other than to reside there. Home and rent prices in Australia are out of control and out of the reach of thousands of people. The baby boomer and older population in Australia has reached a staggering 29% of the total population as of the latest census that we had done here in 2021. Those figures would have increased since then. Imagine if the properties that these older Australians live in were made available for sale. 29% of our population of 26 million is 7,540,000. If only 10,000 of those 7,540,000 people were able to leave this country for a life overseas before they turn 67, that would have a massive impact on this housing crisis. Ha ha you say, yes, you heard right, 67 is the age we older Australians must be to get the age pension. The catch to this and the reason for this feeling like a hostage video is we must be living in Australia up until that time, 67, or we are seen as having left the country, making us ineligible to receive the age pension. Oh, wow, if we are seen by our federal government to have been living overseas, we must return to Australia, claim the pension while on the ground in Australia, then we must stay here for a minimum of two years without leaving the country. Wow. Imagine having set up home in another country, made friends, made a life there, perhaps even take your animals there like we intend to, then needing to return to Australia and stay in Australia for a minimum of two years after you turn 67 if we want to continue to get the age pension. 
If older Australians like us were allowed to sell up and leave for an exciting life abroad before 67, not only would it change the situation for the housing crisis here, but the healthcare problems and issues that we see across this country, much of which comes from the ongoing increasing health issues of the elderly, healthcare across Australia would experience a significant reduction in people burdening an already strained system. If you aren't aware, pensioners in Australia receive amazing benefits from our government. We are lucky. Not in all respects though, hence this video. Now, we get free healthcare, free dental, free eyewear, free eye care, discounted rates including property and water, reduction in the cost of gas, electricity, vehicle registration and boat registration to name some. Imagine how much it cost the taxpayer here for the previously mentioned 10,000 older people who should be able to leave Australia before the pension claiming milestone of 67. Let us go. Oh, that's just my opinion. I, I have made an attempt to have this legislation looked at with a suggestion of change by contacting our leader, the Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. Anthony Albanese. I've also sent the same letter to the leader of the Federal Opposition Party, Mr. Peter Dutton. Peter just lives down the road, but still, guess what? I have not received a reply from either of them, and I think I've waited long enough. I sent the same letter to the Federal Housing Minister, a lady. I'm not sure if that means something there, but it was nice to receive a reply. Unfortunately, the response was almost a carbon copy of what I already knew, as stated on the government's website. I have placed a copy of the letter from me and the reply I received from the Housing Minister in the description below. I may slip them into the video, yet I haven't really decided on that, so we'll wait and see. I'll wait and see too with you. Perhaps you are thinking, I'm pretty sure that Australians can leave the country before they turn 67 and claim the pension from another country. Yep, you're right. Australia does have social security agreements with many other countries, but only three Asian countries, Japan, South Korea, and India. Unfortunately, we have no desire to live in either of those countries. And even if we did, they have strict criteria and aged Australian nationals don't fit the requirements. You need a lot more boxes ticked than just that. We are only interested in the Philippines, perhaps Thailand, not sure yet, but pretty much sure. Um, where this whole real thing makes no sense to us is we have lived here solely for 65 years. We were both born here in Queensland, not far from where we are. Why are we being penalised for leaving Australia before we make it to 67 by making us stay here? for a minimum of two years, taking us to the ripe old age of 69 and 70. Wow. Neither of us work. We re self-retired, self-funded retired back in 2016, I think it was. So really, we're not helping out the economy in that way. We are just sitting back using the health system and any other things we are entitled to. So we just think we, we, we would love to be able to, to go and get the pension. We feel that our travelling opportunities may be lost because of our age when we get to 69 and 70. Does that silly rule or regulation make any sense to you? Please comment or discuss the situation with each other, including me, of course, below in the comment section. I really hope you got something from this video. Hopefully you learned something. Because it is my first attempt in front of the camera. I'd love to do a lot more content on this subject. Perhaps one of you knows the Prime Minister. We can, you know, have a Chardonnay with him and convince him to change the rules. I don't know. Um, I'd love to do a lot of more, as I said, on this site's content and the subject of moving overseas and then sharing with you the experiences of living in either the Philippines or Thailand as older expats, hopefully not too old.
experts. Be kind to yourselves, as every day is very precious. Surround yourself with people who want more for you, not from you. Very important, and I'll see you in the future, I hope. Enjoyed being with you during this time. Goodbye. And that is my little baby, the Australian Kelpie. Isn't he cute? What to do is play with the ball. Hey mate. Ball, ball, quick, 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 quick. Are they coming? Are they following me? They normally do. Are they following me? Yes, they are. Here they are. Look at them. Come on, Ella. humble home that we uh, want to sell and move to the Philippines. People probably think we're crazy, but we are crazy, but no, no, for the right reasons. Hey, Reg. For the right reasons, isn't it, Reg? Sit, Reg.